Hi there. In this video we will be taking a look at a solar street lamp from Zolia and hopefully this is the one that will end up on the, the light pole because at least in theory in the pictures specifications this one looks really good. So let's see. I think this makes it uh, quite clear that uh, it's fragile. Hopefully the guys uh, delivering this thing actually understood that. Sometimes they don't. But we will see in a moment because in theory you have a huge solar panel in here that hopefully survived. So let's open this up in a quick, uh, quick speed, high speed, whatever. First thing that we lay our eyes on is this huge solar panel uh, with, let me try and zoom a bit, hopefully it will be more visible, with this connector that got a bit squished in the transport but it's rubber so doesn't really matter. The specs, hopefully you can see them right there. So it's a 40 watts uh, panel, 6 volts, max 6.6 .6 amp, uh, open circuit voltage 7.5 volts, short circuit current 7.5 amps, and the measurements 67 centimeters by 45 centimeters by uh, 20 or 2.5 centimeters. Sorry about that. And camera continuing to focus on whatever it wants because why wouldn't it? So let's get back out with the zoom and continue uh, opening this thing up. So uh, up until now the packaging really good. Let's see how this panel actually feels in the hand. It's not glass. It's a, a plexic, which for me, honestly, I, I think I prefer. Because this will be high up on that uh, uh, electricity pole and if it gets, gets cracked by hail or something, I would have zero chance of knowing. So being uh, a bit sturdier, even if in time this might decrease in efficiency compared to a glass one. I think I prefer this. So, good until now. Aluminium frame, nothing to, to complain or to write home about. It's okay. So I like the panel itself, seems to be okay and seems to be uh, decently big. So put that aside and continue. And now we come to the light itself. Which, oh, 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 oh man, compared to the previous one that I took a look at, and that one, honestly, I sent it back from a completely different brand, nothing to do with uh, Zolia or this lamp. Uh, this is a hundred times better just by holding it in the hand. It's extremely heavy, especially in this part right here which honestly I presume is the battery side. I think here we have obviously also the electronics, but the batteries. And this is extremely heavy metal. Let me try if I, uh, I can show you all the lamp. You can hear it. It's cast metal. I'm not sure if it's magnesium or aluminum or something. This is glass, not plastic. We have uh, here where it will show us how charged the, the battery is. <sighs> Obviously, um, rainproof. It has a timer and a sensor. And I'm not sure where that sensor actually lies. We have here the receiver for the remote and I think a light sensor right there. But this also has a motion sensor, which I don't know where it is. We have a bit of uh, the glue that Make sure that this is fully sealed. The glass 
with the frame a bit of the glue sticking out but absolutely uh, no problem with that all of this is metal so this is metal this is metal we have some huge screws here that uh, will attach to the pole we have the other part of this uh, connector that goes into the uh, the solar panel so that's quite uh, quite nice yep i like what i see this is how a solar street light should look like the leds at least to my eye seem really well spaced so it's not a willy-nilly uh, job in a cheap chinese factory this seems to be much better quality at least this is my impression we will see what time will tell us but first sight yeah it's a few good times uh, more expensive than the other one three or four times but at least what i get is much much more than i got with the other light that i will link in the description if you want to see what i got there the pipe itself which will um, in the end hold this to the to the light pole i will make modifications because normally this is meant to hold this to a wall or something not to a light pole a round light pole that is uh, i might make a completely new one of this honestly uh, i talked to the guys at uh, zolia it will not void the warranty if i'm not using this uh, and i either i make this stronger or i make another one the warranty is on this and the panel itself because i don't want absolutely any risk whatsoever being uh, at four or five meters up in the air normally these are all the fixtures to hold the solar panel itself uh, they do seem sturdy enough so they are decently thick but uh, you know me i i tend to go uh, overboard with uh, some things and my daughter just appeared in the room we have the remote right here, I will show you that in a moment. <laughs> and what do we have here? Elements uh, to connect this thing uh, to the wall on who knows what. Quite sturdy. Presumably uh, this will be something like this and you can uh, tighten it onto a pole being it round or square but for me it's a huge 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 hole it i think it's about in this diameter so i need to do some modifications it's not as simple as uh, using the included fixtures and my daughter just messed up the focus anyway i like what i see up until now i also need to say i like the remote even has uh, the little Zolia branding on it, although they did uh, write it a bit uh, <clears throat> to a side. I think it's laser etched in here. That's a nice touch. Uh, I think there are no batteries. Yes, I need to go fetch some batteries. I don't mind that because most times included batteries are really, really cheap and bad. So I can get my own quality batteries. And no, 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 don't break this. You will fill up the house camera focus, please. Ah, they like to play with uh, this styrofoam, but it, eh, it's a pain to clean. Anyway, instructions. Let me give you a quick rundown, rundown of them. Feel free to pause at any moment. And let's see on the other side. And in theory, this is how it's meant to be installed. I might come up uh, with my own version of uh, this part right here. Not sure yet, but yeah, we'll see. So let's put some batteries and try to turn it on and see if it has any charge in it or not at the moment of receiving it while uh, putting back in the box what I don't need to test uh, this my daughter noticed that there are other screws that you would use to attach this to a wall hey please stop 
and there are actually some batteries in here uh, but yes they are the cheap no-name type so I'm going to get some decent batteries I don't like to use this because in case you forget them in the remote it's bye bye remote anyway nice to have even more type of fixtures in here these are for a wall for example okay uh, I got it a bit wrong I think that's actually a lead that dot right there and this the panel itself is acting as a light sensor if it doesn't produce electricity then this knows hey it's night because we don't have light on the panel I forgot that many modern things work actually like this so let me do the connection right here and yes my daughters uh, are doing in the background a bit of styrofoam inside the connector it will be a bit tricky to plug in because it got a little bit warped uh, during shipping but I think I got it working and now obviously lock it in place okay that should be about it and hey it's solid so it's 60 percent charged and it's at 80 percent charging so 60 fully charged maybe it's about 70 who knows what per percent charged daughters being louder and louder and louder uh, anyway let's see can i turn it on whoa this is bright okay -ish. Don't get me wrong, it's not the brightest of them all, but it is freaking bright. We are at half brightness now. Let's see, can I get lower than this? This is, I think, 30%, still really bright to look at. We will see this evening how bright this thing actually is. Hey, hey daughters, don't look into it. Uh, and yes weirdly enough let's see can i go to sensor mode okay so it actually accepted sensor mode shouldn't this be off while it has light on the panel hmm. can i turn it off yes i can turn it off this is a bit weird. I need to figure out exactly how this is working. So I think I actually f figured it out. I can force it on uh, even during day. But if I turn it off, now it has some light on this. It's not a lot, but as you can see, it's still charging. I'm inside the house in a rainy day with the shades uh, half uh, on the windows and it's still charging. So that's actually awesome really good uh, there and if i put this completely flat on the back it thinks hey it's night and it starts hey daughter please stop it starts in the last mode that you actually used so i can set now sensor mode for example i need to stop this and get them out of here it's too much light let's see if i can it turn it off even no so ooh, this is oh off sorry about that yeah, I can turn it forcefully off even at night, which is great. Hey, so yeah, up until now, this thing is awesome. Okay, so I have the light in that room and you can see a tiny gap through the door that's not completely closed and look what happens when we move around. That thing activates. I don't know what type of movement sensor is, but it's not a passive infrared sensor. Those are nowhere near as sensitive. I don't even, just now we have line of sight with the light. Until now we didn't, and it's still uh, uh, sensitive, sensed the movement. So it's based on reflections, somehow it sensed it. it it's, yeah, and it's bright. It's really, really, really bright. In this room, when it was um, the solar panel was up, it was shutting down itself from the light created. It uh, it was thinking it's day. It was shutting off. Then it was thinking it's night. It was powering on. Then day. Uh, so I needed to put it face down to make sure it doesn't shut off by itself. As you can see, I'm standing here and it does not shut off. It senses my movement. 
I have no idea what type of sensor is, but I'm honestly impressed. I don't think this is a 400 watt light. It, it's impossible. I think it's probably a 40 watt uh, LED light, which is good enough for me. It's about on par with that. So considering the losses, maybe if that gets sunlight for about 10 hours, this will run for about 7 hours or something like that at maximum. If you put it at 50%, obviously it will run even more. If the batteries inside of it are a decent quality and they don't get weaker uh, really quickly in time. But the movement sensor in this thing is absolutely awesome. If any of you have any idea what type of sensor it is, I'm... Could it be some sort of uh, radar? It's or maybe with somehow with uh, radio waves. I I have no no clue because it it's clear it's uh, it's sensing even based of uh, reflections because we didn't have line of sight with it. We were seeing about this area right here, and it still sensed us. So. <laughs> This is a freaking cool thing. And let me just stay with my hand here until it shuts off. So there will be about 15 seconds of uh, cringe video where I don't really do anything. And now that was enough to trigger it. So that's pretty cool. This is a few times more expensive than what I have in the video in the description. That really crappy one that I bought initially, but this is miles miles above it this is what it should be and what i expect when i uh, i pay for something so yeah awesome awesome i'm going to let it do its thing up until now and you can see a uh, red led there when it senses movement let me see where does it sense movement can i figure out at least that okay i'm not going to move so it's sensed here, okay, in this little corner. Still sensed it, let me move my hand under it. What? No, presumably it. What is that thing sensing? Maybe it's sensing the rest of my hand, which is moving a tiny bit. But it's clear, it's extremely... Let's see if I only move one finger right in the corner. Yeah, this is weird. Anyway, uh, I was saying that the battery didn't drain at all. It didn't really charge because it didn't get sunlight. It just have some passive light from half-closed uh, door uh, window shades. But anyway, this is awesome. Perfect. I'm glad I found this product. And yes, in this room I am using the light it creates bouncing off the ceiling to film. So, yeah, it's enough. Uh, in this mode, when it get dark, gets dark, it sets a timer and it illuminates uh, at what you set for 6 hours. With this it illuminates for 8 hours constantly. With this it goes to minimum brightness. But when it senses move, movement, it goes to maximum. Uh, with this, 4 hours maximum, then 4 hours of this uh, with auto sense. Here 4 hours maximum, 6 hours with auto sense. 4 hours maximum, 8 hours with auto sense. This is max, minimum, and uh, more and less, and on and off. And we are done with it. And my daughter in the background, so I will go check what what's happening this thing is actually uh, getting spooky at this point it's feeling me through that crack under the door okay prepare to have your mind blown so i'm no way near there and i will not move my legs i'm just waving this hand in front of the door so it doesn't see through that and it didn't see through that crack it's seen through this thin plywood door. For sure it uses some kinds of uh, radio waves. Basically it's some sort of a radar that actually sees through things. Huh? 
Yeah, I know you can see through things with waves from uh, your Wi-Fi, for example. But, oh, this is freaking awesome. Next morning, this thing is working in sensor mode since last night. And we basically almost didn't lose any battery over a whole night. Obviously, in this room I didn't come uh, at night, so I played with it only before going to bed and now to start filming. But uh, in low power mode, to say like that, uh, low in illumination mode, this thing barely consumes any battery. So if you leave it in this mode, it will last forever and ever and ever, which is awesome. Perfect. Exactly what I need. Now let's modify that uh, thing or create a new one to install this onto the, the huge light pole. And we should have light on the street, which will be awesome finally. Just want to mention something else. I've uh, come with this outside and in about two hours this morning, this thing, as you can see, at 80% and it was fully discharged. So I let it last night discharge to zero, actually not last night, over a couple of days when it did not get any light at all on the panel, it was face down, discharge it to zero, which I don't think it's a good idea, but I just wanted to test how quickly it charges. And again, in about two hours or maybe not even that, it's here so in four hours of uh, direct sun for sure it's from zero to 100 percent that's quite good i do feel the batteries got a little bit warm not a lot just a little bit the, this area right here is a little bit warm the rest of it is cold but this is a little bit warm but uh, nothing dramatic so that means this is putting lots of juice in here just wanted to mention, as you can see, my shadow is in another position, so it's a few hours later. The charging speed decreases a lot when this heats up. So it charges really quickly at the beginning, but then slows down until, until it uh, goes to full. But it's absolutely normal, and I will do something uh, a bit uh, smart, to say like that. Hopefully, I will put the panel on top of it. So it will shade it uh, when it's really hot outside. But I need to make a new bracket, obviously, for that. Making a much stronger support. Yes, the welds look really bad because it's the first time ever in my life that I'm uh, actually welding with my father's uh, welding uh, machine. So yeah, it was trial and error. It looks really bad, but uh, it's... Uh, over the top so even looking really bad it's still more than enough to be enough to hold even in uh, bad weather so yeah <laughs> there's that it will look better uh, cleaned up and uh, painted and uh, if you would know the order of the wells you would see that uh, they are better and better and better as uh, time passed okay might have overdone it a little bit with uh, the new support but uh, yeah, I think uh, it's going to stay on the light pole. Yeah. <laughs> no wind is going to move this from there. The connection between this and the solar panel is inside the, the tube itself. And this is uh, sealed shut. Added two more screws in here. So this will never move in any direction ever some zip ties for the cable from the solar panel edit these things so it also holds the middle really thick iron here at both ends that's really thick this is really thick long welds not great welds but they do the job and uh, yeah working just fine Hope to see it on the pole really soon because I'm really curious. And it's installed onto the electrical pole. Not at the very top because I didn't want those uh, wires to trigger the motion sensor. So it's a bit lower under the wires. It's working perfectly. I think it's one o'clock uh, in the day and it's already almost at uh, 
somewhere between 80% and 100%, so almost uh, at 100% fully charged. It's perfect. I let it actually work for four hours when it gets dark at maximum and eight hours with motion sensor, but during the summer sunny days I might let it work full brightness all night long. I don't think it will discharge. During the winter presumably it will only work on motion sensor because the night is very long, the day is very short in this area, so yeah. But up until now it's perfect. So. Yeah, I'm glad I finally found a good one uh, for this location and it was a really bad storm uh, and this thing didn't move a millimeter. I think two days ago it was really really bad like taking uh, tiles off roofs and uh, damaging lots of stuff, throwing everything around in the yard. This didn't move an inch and also it was hail, uh, damaged uh, a few of the neighbors' uh, uh, plexi patio covers and whatnot this uh, solar panel is 100% okay so that's about it really like this light it was a bit more expensive but it's uh, doing a perfect job giving lots of light for this street so like a normal street light this is on par with uh, those powered by mains without any issues so yeah hope this video helps you Thanks Zolia for uh, having this light on sale, it's, it's really good in your store. And yeah, see you in the next one, bye.